Um, did you ever call um, emergency personnel regarding concerns about the individuals in the apartment above you? Yes. Um, did you call them multiple times? Yes. So from 4 a.m. to 3 p.m., you were hearing concerning noises? Yes. And did you call the police? Yes. And did an officer come out? Yes. Did anything happen with that? Mm -hmm. Did an officer ever talk to you before no. it was too late? Yes. Um, and I know your wife called police. Did you ever call police? Yes. Okay. All right, if you raise your right hand, do you solemnly swear for me to tell the truth, so hope you got? Yeah. All right, you can lower your hand. If you make sure you keep your voice up so that the jurors can hear and the court reporter can hear. Okay. If you'll state your name for the record. My name is Mohan. Oh, full name. Oh, Mohammed. Sorry. All right, state. Hi, good afternoon. Yeah. Can you please spell your name first yes. and last? It's the M O H A N A D. Last name is the H A S O N A. I, I do believe so, yes. Okay. Um, when you were living at 812, I'm, I'm sorry, you 8, were 8, in 811. Yes. Um, did you ever uh, know anything about your neighbors above you in 812? As far as? The, as far as, did you ever meet them? In passing. In passing. I would say yes. Um, do you see the resident of 812? Do you see him in court today? Yes, ma'am. Can you please um, identify him by an article of clothing? Yes, he's wearing a blue jacket, blue suit jacket. Okay, I'll let the record reflect. Or navy blue suit. I'll let the record reflect that the witness has identified the defendant, Jose Ruiz. Yeah. Um, did you ever call um, emergency personnel regarding concerns about the individuals in the apartment above you? Yes. Um, did you call them multiple times? Yes. Um, just generally, um, what were some of the reasons that you called? Noise, noise complaints, and uh, the child that was crying. Okay. Now let's talk about the child. Um, did you ever meet a child uh, that lived in, in 812? In past, yes. Okay. Um, and could you approximate an age of the child? Based on my medical experience, no more than seven years old, I would say between, I don't know, five to seven. Okay. And was the child male or female? Female. Um, did, did she have dark or light hair? Uh, yes. And um, did you ever speak to her? No, she just pet my dog a couple of times going up and down the stairs and we would say hi, she'd say hi, that's about it. Did you ever see more than one child? I want to say yes, but I don't like completely recall. Okay. But I've never seen any other children other than a female. So if there was more than one child, another female possibly. Okay. Um, did you know the name of the children? You said you lived in Henry V 2021 through 2022. Is that correct? To 2023, yes. Okay. Um, when did you start noticing a child crying, if you remember? Around, I want to say around uh, November 2021. And what is there a particular time of day that you would hear the child? Not, not a particular time, just more, I would say mostly during the day. Yeah. What is it about, well, let me ask you this. Have you lived in apartments before? Yes. Have you heard children crying before? Yes, but not this way. Okay, what was it about this crying that caused you concern? Two, two things, the intensity, uh, like the waiting and how severely the, the, uh, the child was crying and the duration was better for long. And and while she was crying, what, did you ever hear her say any words with it? Not words, just ow, ow, ow. You could hear her say ow. Yes. How often would she say ow? Continuously. Are, are you able to, 
to differentiate a child that is crying because they're they're upset they lost a toy versus a child crying in pain. Yes. What was this cry like? More definitely. Were there other noises that you heard that maybe led you to believe that um, there was something going on causing the child pain? Yes. What other noises? There was uh, a male voice yelling. Um, and then there was the voice of something making contact with the body, okay. some like a hand or a device or I don't know. Okay. Um, how often would you hear a male yelling? Quite often. There was fights in that home most of the time. Were you able to hear words when he would yell? Sometimes, yeah. Um, did it sound like he was yelling at the child? In that particular time when I called 911, yes, absolutely. And you said you heard some kind of contact. Can you, um, was it a banging noise? Was it a screeching noise? What was the contact noise that you heard? It's more like when a spanking happens or like when something is slammed. Okay, like a, like yeah. a noise? Yeah. Did you ever hear uh, a female... Um, an adult voice. Yes. Um, what was the nature of the female's voice when you would hear it? Yeah, as well. Okay. Was she, um, could you tell if it was directed at the child as well or someone else? I did not. Okay. Specifically, and, and we listened to your 911 call. Um, you had reviewed your 911 call today, correct? Thank you. Sorry. You had reviewed the, the 911 call that you made Correct. prior to coming to court. Correct. When you made that call, um, was there a voice that seemed like attributable to the, the pain and the crying that you heard? From the child? Yes. Yes. Um, was that the male or the female voice? The female voice was saying, ow, and she was just continuously crying and wailing, and the, the male voice was yelling at her. Do you recall what kind of, if he was saying anything when he was yelling? Yes. What was he saying? He was saying, do not cry, do not cry. Um, I can't really tell if he was saying, do not do that. or um, And then definitely saying, I'm talking to you. Do you recall if you heard the adult female voice during this interaction? I do not recall that. Okay. Um, how often would you hear the child crying accompanying by another individual, an adult yelling. How often would you hear that? I don't recall how often, but I recall that the time that I called was the most severe time that I've heard it. Um, do you feel that it was the male or the female who was causing the banging noises? The time that I called was definitely the male. Do you, can you recall how many times you called 911? For the noise complaints or for the um, in general? Specifically regarding um, just any concerns with age 12? I want to say three times. Did you ever observe any injuries on the child? No. Okay. I'll pass the witness. Good afternoon, sir. My name is Teresa Conley, and I have no further questions. Thank you. All right, is this witness excused or subject for recall? Um, no, sir. No, you are not subject to recall. Yeah, he, he's excused, so he can fly home. All right, the rule has been invoked. What that means is you can't discuss your testimony with anything or view anything, uh, and you are excused. Thank you. Thank you. State call your next witness. The state calls Gabriella. You, oh gosh, it's Terbe. Yeah. All right, all right, can you raise your right hand? You solemnly swear or affirm the testimony you give will be the truth and nothing but the truth to help you, God. All right, you can lower your hand. Make sure you keep your voice up so that the members of the jury can hear and the court reporter can hear. If you'll state your name for the record, please. Gabriela Iturbe. All right, state. Hi, good afternoon, Gabriela. Um, can you please spell your full name for the court reporter? Uh, G-A-B-R-I-E-L-A. 
Last name Iturbe, I-T-U-R-B-E. Was there ever a time when you lived at the Henry B. Apartments on Vance Jackson? Yes. What apartment number did you live when you were there? Um, I don't remember the number. You don't, you don't remember? Do you remember what building it was? What number building? Um, no. No, that's okay. That's okay. Um, and do you go by Gabby? Yes. Can I call you Gabby? Okay. Um, Gabby, do, are you, uh, did you have anyone living with you at the time? Yes. Um, my fiance and um, my daughter. And how old was your daughter when you lived at Henry B? A couple months. Did you ever, while you were living at Henry B, um, start having concerns about the behaviors of a neighbor? Yes. Do you, um, did you ever see this neighbor? Um, here and there, just kind of mainly in the stairwell area, um, parking lot. And where was your apartment related to the neighbor you had concerns about? If you were facing the building, our apartment was on the right side. We shared separate stairwells, so. Okay. Um, <laughs> did you share any walls? Yes. Okay. Do you see that neighbor in court today? Yes. Can you please identify that neighbor by an article of clothing? Um, suit and tie. Okay. I'll let the record reflect that she has identified the defendant, Jose Ruiz. All right, is he the only person with a suit and tie? Can you add another description, please? Uh, glasses and beard. Okay. All right, is he the only person with glasses and beard? <laughs> Where is he? On the black side. Right? What color tie is he wearing? Black. Okay, let the record reflect that she has identified the defendant, Jose Ruiz. Okay, so generally at first, what were your concerns about Mr. Ruiz? Um, like both in general, all over? In general. Well, I, I guess, uh, what was your first concern about Mr. Ruiz? Um, mainly it was just the loud music at first. Um, it was just random hours, like 12, two in the morning. And um, I mean, then it was like the parking. And then it was the parking? Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, was there ever anything that caused you so much concern that you wanted to call the police? Yes. What was that? Um, the screaming, the sounds of hitting, uh, yelling, kids crying. Okay. What kind of screaming did you hear? Um, like just cussing, yelling at them. Uh, the, just yelling in general. Did you hear a male voice yelling? I heard both. And you heard a female yelling? <laughs> Correct. Were these adult voices? Yes. Okay. Um, did you ever hear children yelling? Um, not so much yelling, but more crying or screaming. Okay. And you had a, a, a baby at mm -hmm. the time, right? Um, can you tell the difference between crying because they need something or crying from pain? Yes. What was this crying? It was harmful, like bleeding. Bleeding? Yes. Did you ever hear, as the child was crying, did she ever say anything? Mm, I did refer to, uh, hear him refer to her as dad. Um, he would refer to the male voice as dad. Mm -hmm. So I assumed he was the father, yes. Um, it would be like, no, dad, stop, or um, just crying in general, saying stop, or just tears, or screaming, no. Okay. Um, did you ever learn the child's name? Yes. How did you know the child's name? I heard the female voice scream Mercedes a lot. Like she was blaming her for a lot of things, um, saying things were her fault and like Mercedes stop or just really loud. Okay. Was there another child with them? Yes. Did you know the other child's name? No. Um, did you ever hear the, another name cried out? Mm -hmm. It was always Mercedes. Mm -hmm. 
<clears throat> what? Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. You'll have to say yes or no. Yes. Okay. It was always Mercedes. Yes. yes. And, it, and you never heard any other children's name. Mm -hmm. And you didn't even know what the other child's name was. No, I didn't. So you were, were you ever introduced to the children? No. You only know Mercedes name because that's what you heard screamed through the gate. Yes. How often would you hear the cry? Um, at least once a week. I mean, it was a while ago, so I can't say specifically the days, but um, it was quite often. It was a little too much. And... Okay. Were, were there any ever any other noises accompanying the, the crying? Yes. Uh, like I said, the loud music a lot of the times. Um, hitting, you could hear like slaps or punches. Okay. And um, the slaps or punches, um, would it be a slap, a um, small slap or a, what, what makes you think that they were slaps or punches? Well, punches are more muffled. You know, you kind of hear like that ugh, in the end, and then a slap is a little bit louder, higher pitched. And I mean, it has to be loud for it to be going through the wall. Right. And was it at the same time you heard the crying? Um, pretty much most times, yeah. Okay. So hearing the yelling and the crying and the noises put together, that's what led you to believe it was a, a punch. Yes. Did you ever document anything when you would hear these? Yes. Why would you document what you heard? It just felt wrong. Like I had just had a gut feeling that something was wrong and it just better feel safe than sorry kind of thing. Okay. And, and did you call the police? Yes. And did an officer come out? Yes. Did anything happen with that? Mm -hmm. Did an officer ever talk to you before no. it was too late? Yes. Okay. Uh, Your Honor, I'm sorry. Defense has questions about my exhibit. May I have a few seconds to show sure. them to her? Um, okay. I'm going to show you what's been labeled the state's exhibit number 85. Um, are those the notes you kept for yourself? Yes. I think this is a day that it was specifically bad because it was. It's so really a random time for it to happen. Mm -hmm. And I mean, I was more awake because it was during the day. Okay. And uh, I don't want you to read directly from it, but if, if you need to refer to it to remember kind of the events of that night in particular. Um, when did the crime start that night? Um, I mean, around 4.30. Um, and how long did the crying go on? Mm. About three hours. Okay. And were you trying to sleep during this? Um, I mean, I woke up because my daughter woke up. And then, um, you know, having to really put her back down just kind of around the apartment. Okay. Um, how long? Um, you said this particular date. And do you recall what date this was? Uh, November 30th. Okay. Of what year? 2021. Okay. Um, how long did this episode last where you were documenting it? From when to when? Uh, about November to January. Okay. Um, and on this particular night, um, how long were you taking notes? Um, I believe I started when my daughter woke up and then until I stopped hearing things, I think it was about 3 p.m. Okay, so, and, and when did you start? What time did you start? Around um, 4. Okay, so, so from 4 a.m. to 3 p.m., you were hearing concerning noises. Yes. Were these noises of a child crying? Um, here and there. Okay. Um, did you hear a, a male voice? Yes. Could you ever make out words? Not always. Um, so, I mean, it's a wall that is fairly thin enough to hear what's happening, but not always full sentences, I guess. Okay. Uh, Your Honor, may I approach the witness again? Yes. You all can approach the witness without asking the court to approach the witness. 
Yes, Shelly. Okay, I'm showing you what has been previously admitted as states exhibit number 80. Do you recognize this floor plan? Yes, ours is the same, just flipped the other way. There's a flipped the other way. Mm -hmm. Let's see, which wall? Well, you said you shared a wall. Yes, the whole line on this far right side. On the right side. So the wall uh, with the bedroom, the study, and the bathroom. Correct. Okay. Was there a particular part of that wall that you shared where you heard more screaming than the others? Uh, mostly in the bedroom. In the bedroom. Was there a particular? So um, it's fair to say your floor plan was just flipped. Correct. So yours was bedroom, bedroom, and closet, closet, bathroom, bathroom, study, study, mm -hmm. and everything was just flipped, right? Mm -hmm. So was your bedroom, um, was it your be your bedroom where you heard it? Yes. Okay. Was there a particular part of the bedroom? Um, I would say mainly along the line that we shared, and then I think maybe sometimes in the closet, just maybe it just models through. Or... The closet? Mm -hmm. Okay. Do you remember any, any words in particular that were screamed that stand out to you? Um, the little girl saying, no, daddy, stop. Um, am I allowed to talk about the mom's problem? Um, I'll stop you right there. Um, when the mom, you, you heard the mom yelling though. Yes. Um, was it yelling directed at Mercedes? Yes. Okay. Was she referring to her other daughter in any way? Um, not on most occasions, no one's mainly at her. Okay. Did the noises that you heard, uh, could you tell if they were coming from the male or the female at all? Yeah, they're pretty distinctive. Okay. And so um, what do you feel was more frequent? Um, male? Say the male. And when the noises that sounded like a male banging would happen, um, was the crying different between the male or the female? Um, I believe that the crying was just more somber. Um, with the female, it was more um, like yelling words back versus just kind of quietly. Okay, so did it sound like she was fighting back? I think she would just kind of talk back to the female in certain ways, but of course I couldn't make out exactly what she was saying to her. Okay, so when the female was yelling and there were sounds like maybe banging, um, you're saying that Mercedes would would talk back on some occasions. Yes. Okay. When the male, in your opinion, the male was making banging noises. Did you ever hear Mercedes talk back? No. I'll pass the witness. Defense. Good afternoon. And my name is Teresa Conlon. We did call the police. Yes. They come. Um. Yes. Did they interview you? No. Was any action taken to your to your knowledge? No. Did you hear them go upstairs? Um, I believe once they did. Once they did? Yes. They never went inside though. They just talked to them from the door. How do you know they never went inside? Because it was a quick conversation and then they closed the door. We can hear when the door opens. A quick conversation? Mm -hmm. It seemed like it was very short. It wasn't like they came in. Do you have any idea what the nature of the conversation was? Mm, not entirely, no. And you're sure that police did not go into the apartment? Yes. Did they did they interview the child, you know? As far as I know, they did not. Did you ever call the police any other time? I believe I called two or three times, yes. Did the police ever come other than this? Mm, no. So you, what did you do? You called 911 or you called... Directly to SAPD? 911. You called 911. At least twice more. Correct. And nobody ever responded? 
Amen. Even by phone? Nobody ever gave me an update on anything, no. Did you ever see the police at any other time other than that one night? Um, I believe when we first started calling about like mainly noise complaints, they did show up once, but I think because it was just like a reoccurring thing, they stopped caring. Or... The only time you ever called about a child crying was that one time when they did come, but they only stayed outside to the best of your knowledge. I believe I called twice about the child crying. Twice. Yes. And the second time they never showed up? No. And the first time they never interviewed the child as far as you know. Thank you, Mrs. Herbert. I'm finished. I asked a witness. I do have a few more questions, Your Honor. Did you ever see the child? Um, on, I believe, the last day she left the apartment complex, yes. Do you recall approximately when that was? Um, I want to say February. Of what year? Of 2022, because it was just the new year. Okay. Um, and what was she doing? On that day, um, they were coming downstairs with the female. And I remember it was weird because it was a really hot day. And they were wearing big coats. Like really big puffy, like parka style jackets with like fur or something on the hood. Could you see Mercedes arms? No. Could you see her head? Not really. Did she have something on her head? Just the hood. Okay. And uh, was it just Mercedes? It was and the other little girl as well. Okay. Was the mom there? Yes. Did you speak to them? No. Was Jose there? No. And where did they go when they got down the stairs? Um, they got into a black SUV uh, with somebody else driving. The mom got in the passenger side and the girls got in the back seat. Okay. Were they, did you notice anything about the way they were walking? Just somber, really sad, kind of kept their heads down, not really. Um, I could tell the mom was rushing them. And I mean, personally, I always walk behind my daughter and she was walking in front with them trailing behind. So the daughter, which daughter was trailing behind? Both, they were both behind her. Okay. Um, and you said it, it looked like she was, they were rushing? The mom was, yeah. Okay. It was kind of like, get in the car, let's go. No further questions. Thank you, ma'am. Um, you're saying it was February. Are you sure it was February? Um, I'd say around then. You said it was a hot day. It was a random hot day because it had been like cold and hot and cold and hot. Yeah. San Antonio. Mm -hmm. um, but you're thinking around the beginning of February or the end of February? Or... I don't recall when. But you recall they were wearing heavy coats on a yeah. hot day. Yeah, I just remember it was a hot day and it was weird because they were wearing really thick coats. Were they carrying um, luggage or bags of clothes or anything, do you know? Mm -hmm. Did you speak to these people? No. Yes, the witness. All right. Yeah. The rule has any other questions? No, you are. The rule has been invoked. What that means is you can't discuss your testimony with anyone. The only persons you're allowed to speak to are attorneys for the state and the defense, and you're not allowed to view anything about this case. Do you understand? Yes. All right. You may step down. State, call your next witness. The state calls Gabriel Granado. All right, could you raise your right hand for me, please? Do you solemnly swear or affirm the testimony you give will be the truth and nothing but the truth will help you, God? Yes, sir. All right, you can lower your hand. Make sure you keep your voice up for members of the jury and the court reporter. State your name for the record. I will be Granado. State? Yes. Uh, good afternoon. Um, do you know Gabby Iturbe? Yes, I do. Who is that? That is my wife now. Okay. And do you have any children with her? I do. I have one. Um, were you living with her at the Henry V Apartments? Yes, I was. Do you uh, do you recall the apartment number? I believe it's eight zero five. I believe so. 
Okay. Do you recall having um, concerns about a neighbor? Yes. Okay. Do you recall what apartment number that was? Yes, 812. Okay. Did you ever observe the neighbor in 812? Very frequently, yes. Okay. Uh, do you see that neighbor? I do. Okay. Can you please identify him uh, by the col uh, by an art article and color? Um, Hispanic male, uh, gray uh, slacks with a navy jacket, black tie, white shirt, beard, glasses, and I think believe a tattoo in the back of his neck. Hmm. Oh, thank you. But the record reflect he has identified the defendant, Jose Ruiz. Okay. Uh, what was the nature of your concerns about Mr. Ruiz? At first, when we first noticed him moved into the apartment, he was, uh, he seemed okay. Um, just a regular neighbor. Um, there was no anything that was off about him other than he drove a big truck um took up most of the parking spaces and that was pretty much what i recall okay. from the beginning did you ever see any children at uh, 812 towards the ending of the year of uh 2021 it was like towards november october november and december and i noticed so, so end of 2021 you started seeing children yes correct um how many children two okay. did you know the names of the children no i did not not at that time okay um, did you ever, ever have any concern as to the children? During like November, around that time in November, there was incidents where we had concerns or I had concerns of the child um, crying and screaming and, um, you know, being outside and, and not being watched outside. Okay. Um, did you ever hear um, adults yelling? Yes, very frequently. Okay. And was there one area of um, the apartment where you would hear more noises? It was mostly in our bedroom. Okay. Um, it, it, in our bedroom, we heard most noises um, and mostly to like the closet area as well. Okay, and and um, I'm sorry, I, I didn't make this clear. Um, did you share a wall with that neighbor? Yes, I did. Okay, and what was it about the closet or I, I guess I, you heard most of it from the closet. Am I understanding that correctly? It's an offset building. So it's about maybe like four to five uh, feet offset. Um, so I don't know how to describe it, but other than that, like, you know, where his bedroom was, was kind of close to our, our closet. Okay. Um, did you ever hear any, uh, when you would hear yelling or crying, did you ever hear any words accompanying that? Yes. Um, most of the words were, um, a gentleman, you know, yelling at a, at a, uh, at a kid and cussing at the kid. And, um, I don't know if I should say, but like saying, uh, you know, shut the fuck up and, you know, and so forth on that. Okay. Uh, Did you ever hear, um, any music come from that apartment? Oh, very frequently. Yes. Okay. Uh, was it ever in conjunction with the crying? Uh, two times there was. Okay. And um, was it just the crying was at the same time as loud music or were, or did you, was it clear that there was another connection there? So it was crying and with music and the sound of, of something getting hit, I, um, you know, something getting punched. Okay. Did the crying start before the music? It was usually during the music. Okay. okay. And how loud would the music be? Enough to where I had to move to the living room to technically sleep and so forth. Okay. So I don't know if that would justify loudness. Okay. Um, and I know your wife called police. Did you ever call police? Yes. Okay. Um, did you ever see the children? Twice. Um, <laughs> once uh twice both outside out of our you know in their parking out parking area where we park did you ever see the children with mr Luis? yes um how did they appear around him they wouldn't really be directed towards him it was just more towards the mom so it would they wouldn't 
go to him as like the primary. I'll pass the Depends. No questions, sir. Thank you. All right, the rule has been invoked. What that means is you can't discuss your testimony with anyone. The only persons you're allowed to speak to are attorneys for the state or the defense. And you're not allowed to view anything about the case. Do you understand? All right, thank you. You may step down. State, call your next witness. State, call Ralph Shockert, and he is on Zoom. All right. Mr. Shockert, if you'll show your video, please. Did you ever document anything when you would hear these? Yes. Why would you document what you heard? It just felt wrong. Like I had just had a gut feeling that something was wrong and it just better feel safe than sorry. Kind of